hello and welcome back to another video in this video I take you along as I randomly decide to bake some rhubarb jam the day started out like any other heading outside to do my chores I'm sure it sounds crazy, but this is one of my favorite tasks to do. Hi girls. Good morning. From there, I am always drawn into the garden. This morning, the garden was in desperate need of watering. As I tended the garden, I noticed the rhubarb needs to be harvested before it is gone for the year, which then led me to make the rhubarb jam. I love it when I have these days at home where I can just flow through the day and do what seems to call me to be done that day. I like to use these large rhubarb leaves for chop and drop. One, they help to keep the soil from drying out too quickly in the sun, but then they also break down giving life back to the soil. I decided to concoct this recipe from a few different ones I have tried before. I didn't want to use pectin and sugar. Instead, I chose to use chia seeds and honey. I ended up with 10 cups of rhubarb, so I adjusted the rest of the ingredients that amount. I added two cups of water and cooked it together with two heavy teaspoons cinnamon and two heavy teaspoons ginger. Once it reached the consistency I wanted, I added my chia seeds. 
The last few years of looking into chia seed jam, I knew I needed to use two tablespoons chia seeds to every two cups of fruit. Again, I adjust it to my 10 cups of rhubarb. After stirring the chia seeds in, I turned off the heat and let it cool before adding the honey. Taking care so I don't overheat my local honey as I didn't want to lose any of its wonderful properties. One recipe asks for one and a half cups honey to four cups of fruit. Another, one to two tablespoons to two cups fruit. Having made this before and playing around with the sweetness, I went with about one and a half cups honey to my 10 cups fruit. Making sure that all the honey is dissolved. I think it turned out just about perfect. Next morning, I wanted it to cool completely I had some clean jars ready to go. I am choosing to freeze these so I knew I wanted to give them some space to expand which is why I didn't fill them all the way to the top. If I got too close for comfort, I would just scoop a little out. I have some clean used lids. I save them in this Pringles container as it is the perfect size to store them. I save only the best and am careful not to save more than one of these containers as I tend to be a bit of a hoarder. Because I was not sealing the jars through canning them, I am comfortable reusing used lids. I was careful to leave the lids just a tad loose so the jars won't break with expansion. I'm okay with these extra jars because I will be making another batch very soon. Overestimate it by half. Lastly, I am putting them into this box so I can stack them easier in my chest freezer. A quick cleanup has the kitchen tidy again. And now it is time for my favorite cup of tea and to jot down a few things I want to remember to do today, as well as a little bit of journaling to collect my thoughts. If you try this recipe, let me know how it turned out for you and how you like it.